Hi, I'm Zach. I'm one of the occupational therapists at the Aurora School. I know now is a little bit of a weird time. Um, I certainly miss working with your kids, but I wanted to use this opportunity to, to share a personal experience with mine. My brother has autism. He's 25. Um, he lives at home. And over the years, um, I have taught him a bunch of different vocational skills, independent living skills, self-care skills um, that he uses around the house on a daily basis. And I kind of wanted to share some of those things with you all, maybe give you all some moral support because you know, the level he is at now certainly wasn't you know, what it was when he first started. You know, the, these skills take a long time, a lot of patience, but they can certainly help. Um, and so I wanted to share some of those things with you. So this is my brother, Nick. Nick, say hi. Hi. Look up. Say hi. Hi, Ben. So this is Nick. Again, Nick's 25. And, you know, when we first start to do chores, the best thing to do um, is to write a checklist. So I always do three things. I never try to do more than three at one time. But maybe I'll do, um, let's um, sort silverware. Let's um, sweep the floor. And let's um, fold socks. A checklist is really easy because when when he's doing it, he can just he knows what he has to do and he can check them off after he's done. So he knows when he's done and can get a break. Ready? So what are we gonna do first? No, sort silverware. Sort silverware. All right, go ahead. Good job. Pull them out. Uh huh. Good job. And he will do this whole, this whole batch of silverware. He'll sort them all. And he has his sorting drawer. And he'll do this whole thing. And after he completes each one, he goes ahead and checks it off. So go ahead. What'd you do first? Good job. What's next? Sweet. All right, wait. Don't check it off yet. Go ahead. Get your broom. Sweet. We try to do this after meal time um, because it's the, sort of the natural time to do it. Um, this is one of his newer ones is sweeping. Um, it's a little bit harder, but he, he's starting to get the hang of it. Good job. You missed some right here, bud. All right. What'd you do? What'd you do? All right. What's next? Oh, you got it. All right. Go ahead. So when we do laundry, we also have Nick sort. So he'll, sort, he'll put all the socks in one bin. Okay, go ahead. And he'll bring it over to a table. Um where he will match all of the socks. Okay, go ahead, put them down. It's all right, good job. Good job, find the pair. <coughs> oh, Keep going. He, he is not her. Girl. Focus. Hey. No one. Match the socks. Good job. Right. Keep going. Right. Good job. And so again, these skills take a long time, but the goal is that you can kind of back off that supervision, back off those prompts, and slowly, you know, as they gain more skills and get more comfortable with the task, leave that area and let them do that task as much as they can by themselves so it becomes an independent skill. All, right, all done. What are you working for? Movie. All right, what do you want to watch? Lilo and Stitch? Go for it. So yeah, that's a small glimpse into my brother's daily expected tour routine. Um, he has a lot of other tasks and skills that he's learned over the years, but um, I really just wanted to make this video to create some awareness that sometimes these skills take a long time. You know, he's turning 26 and he started working on these things when he was 13, 14 years old. It took a lot of prompts, a lot of support, a lot of supervision up front. Um, but throughout the year, slowly, he's gained more independence um, to the point where there's some of the chores that he can do all by himself. So, you know, I hope that's motivating to um, some parents that, you know, no matter what skill level um, or, or, or what, you know, le level the, the, the individual is at, you know, there's always room for progress. If you can be patient and continue to give the support, um, they'll get there. They will get there. So I hope all is well and uh, look forward to seeing your kids in the future. All right. Bye-bye.